Think about a time you've ever felt stressed. Well, what is stress? How do you feel? Do you feel that you can't sleep, can't eat, can't focus on the things you need to do? Do you feel you're going to be sick or even just cry? Well, that's okay because those are just symptoms of stress. Things like testing, short timelines on projects, full schedules, and even divorced parents can cause stress. One of these stress triggers are probably in your life. Testing is a common at-school stress trigger. According to some psychologists, children get a lot more anxious on a state test rather than a normal classroom review test. I remember being nervous on our FSA writing test, but I'm still here and I survived. If I can do it, you can do it. Short timelines on projects are another biggie. According to Ali Bidwell, high schoolers get assigned 17.5 hours of homework each week. Thank goodness I'm not in high school yet. Kathy Pierre's article also states that Zaina Williams, a pre-nurse sophomore college student, studies at least 15 hours each week. You think we have a lot of homework? Go talk to Miss Williams. Full schedules don't help the picture. How many of you have an after-school sport or activity? Have you ever felt stressed because your basketball game was on the Friday you were supposed to go to the movies with your friends? Well, don't feel alone because everybody feels that way sometimes. According to Bruce Feiler, he handles his kids' schedules and notices that they get stressed because of it. Finally, divorced parents. When parents decide it's time to split up, the child is majorly impacted. The child might get something called separation anxiety disorder. SAD, or separation anxiety disorder, is when the child is afraid of being alone. The child refuses to sleep alone, act sick, and become clingy. And when it gets to the extreme, the child doesn't even want to go to school. Not every child gets separation anxiety disorder. In conclusion, stress happens to everybody. That means kids, too. Children shouldn't feel stressed all the time. They should do yoga. Sit very still in a quiet place. Close your eyes. Take slow, deep breaths. And think happy thoughts. Namaste and thank you.